Hello, I am Dr. Stewart and I'm going to talk about the parts of the brain in about two minutes. This is the accelerated version of this lecture. For the full version, please check out the link here. So the brain begins as the spinal cord enters into the skull through the foramen magnum. The first part of the brain is the brain stem. That's everything shown in green. The most inferior part of the brain stem is the medulla. On top of that is the pons. And then you have the midbrain, which is most superior. Collectively, the brain stem is going to connect the spinal cord to the higher centers of the brain but it also controls a lot of behind the scenes functions, things like coughing, vomiting, heart rate, breathing rate, and the size of our muscles. On top of the brain stem, you're gonna have the diencephalon, or superior to it. That's everything in purple. The thalamus is the part of the diencephalon that receives incoming sensory signals and tells those signals where to go for higher processing in the brain. Below or inferior to the thalamus is the hypothalamus. This is a really small part of the brain, very important. It controls the autonomic nervous system. It also controls the endocrine system to a large degree because it's connected to the pituitary gland here in red. The hypothalamus is also going to control functions of the body like controlling our thirst, our hunger, and it's really involved in how we react emotionally to different situations and how we process memories. Next, we'll have the cerebellum, which is this structure in this reddish peach color. The cerebellum is going to help us coordinate sophisticated motor commands. So if you're doing something like dancing or playing soccer, the cerebellum is going to be highly involved in coordinating those motor commands so that we can keep our balance. Then you'll have the corpus callosum. This is a series of millions and millions of uh, neurons that allow the two hemispheres, right and left, of the brain to communicate. And then in yellow, we'll have the limbic system. This is a diffuse network of neurons that's highly involved in our ability to store memories and how we emotionally respond to different situations. You'll see that this anterior lobe of the limbic system is the olfactory lobe, which explains why smells can elicit such strong memories and emotions. If we look at the anterior view of all these structures, you'll see the, the medulla here extending from the spinal cord on top of that of the pons. The midbrain um, extends in each direction, one to the left, one to the right. We have a thalamus on either side of the brain with the pituitary gland in the middle along with the hypothalamus. The cerebellum is behind, that's that wrinkly structure, and all of these structures are encased with the brain that we're most familiar with, which is the cerebral hemispheres, which I've drawn in this blue outline on the left-hand side of the screen and this dark outline on the right-hand side of the screen. So that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you.